For that game today, there's no excuses. The players shot the bed, and we look to have thrown away the league and that Champions League spot that we have worked to get. And here we are at half past nine in the morning, the last bit of calm before the storm. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. And it's an old firm day at Ibrox, and it is an absolute must win. Old firm for Rangers. A draw is mathematically all right for us in the league, but. You look at this table, they're running now, not many games left, we need a win today and we have to do that without the star man up top of Fred and Morelos who is out for a considerable length of time right now, we're not yet found out the length of that injury, we're going to find out on Monday when he gets a further scan, so step up came our roof today who we're expecting to start. We're in nice and early again to see parts of the fan village on the old firm day and just, you know, pick up this amazing atmosphere that's going to be around the stadium today, so we don't need any more of an introduction, it's Ibrox, it's the old firm, it's special. Like and subscribe if you enjoy. Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying, um, but I think it's got a good old-fashioned Scottish feel to it. There's nothing. I played in many derbies uh, in my time, uh, even down south. Nothing more than close to this. And, and so many world football stars, uh, some of Europe's best footballers, have come here. Even just the experience of fixture, and we'll say the same. The, the old firm derby is something that's very uh, special to play in. It's, it's special to come and watch your team at home because you've got the home fans, you've got the, the majority of the backing. I'm actually really pleased that there's away fans today um, because I think it makes the old firm fixture what it, what it is special and particularly. Oh, in the queue for the loading now, and it is. Hi, hey, it's a long one, 10 o'clock now. Hurry up and go home. You've got all that queue there, but beer garden will do, mate. That is what a lot were wanting the team to be. Aribo's in there, so the Kamara love to go debating that, but that's perfect. No excuses.
Yeah. It's state of that flyby, isn't it? The amount of holes in it. What's that other fucking course? The river in the watch, the first card the Rangers got, of course it is, for lunch and we're stunned at their challenge. Hey, fuck Rangers! See the arches now. See the men who's ready to step up. So you've got every one of the Rangers subs out there, so there'll be no instant subs at half time. I'd like to have seen something change, maybe flashing on for a Rebo or something. Rob Ram's in the middle, let him come forward for them. See how long it stays like this. Too long, man. Too long. the press, giving them too much respect again. Two passes together. Oh, look, they've gave up. I like it, Matt. It was one of the only ones that passed back, and it's hard to even say that to be honest. Performance. Is 
the champions of money that we work for in the drink. They know the fuck the map. No Scottish have actually seen them. Fuck shit my hands but an absolute miracle now to win this league getting everything that we've worked for to get this Champions League spot to win this league again we've absolutely thrown it away again today there's no excuses the team was right it's the only thing you can say again is McGregor how many times is he going to let us down this season again howling today especially that first one that first shot should be saved and if he's going to parry that out of all the places he parries it right to him there the defence didn't cover themselves at all and glory with the goals and how many players Callum McGregor ran past for the first goal to even get to that opportunity anyway. The second one's floated in, it's poorly defended. McGregor, as usual, stuck on his line, doesn't want to come out six yards. And it was definitely not just McGregor today, it was everyone. It's hard to find anyone that got past marks for that today. I'd love to see our passing accuracy for that game, I've not actually managed to see it yet, but I cannot remember a time that we've strung five consecutive passes together in a dangerous area today, there were a lot of the chances were playing out wide to beat the press and then swing it in which their centre half were gobbling up all day and they wanted it more, they desired it more and they got what they deserved today and Giovanni Van Bronckhorst, the fact that we are in a uh, European last eight is saving his job right now and for me personally if he doesn't win that semi-final that's enough. And the league is still not impossible for us to win mathematically, I know it's not but you look at the rest of these games, what we've got like seven games left you look at their form, you look at our form, it's almost impossible. In 2022, a horrific stat is we have only won 50% of our games. How is that acceptable at Rangers Football Club? And at the end of the day, for that game today, there's no excuses. The players shot the bed and we look to have thrown away the league and that Champions League spot that we have worked to get. The fans gave the players everything. They got their dream start and they've bottled it again. This squad of players needs a serious revamp.